Hi, Marcus Ryle from Line 6 here with my friends from Sweetwater to show you our brand new Stagescape M20D digital mixing system. This is a true paradigm shift in how to approach live sound. Your traditional mixers have served their purpose great for many, many years, and there's a lot of great digital mixers out there as well, but most of them have really just created a digital version of analog, and that means a sea of knobs, lots of different controls on every channel, all the same. And that's great if what you want to be is a sound engineer. But what we wanted to do is create a tool here that would be really usable by sound engineers and musicians alike. And when you're focusing on music, you want to be able to pay attention to your performance and not being a sound engineer. So wouldn't it be great to have a piece of gear that you could communicate with like you communicate with your sound engineer? and have things happen automatically. Like, for example, plug in a microphone and have a microphone show up on a stage. This we call visual domain mixing. You're not even necessarily thinking about channels per se. I've got this mic on a stage. I can actually move it wherever I want with the touch screen. So I'm creating a visual representation of what my performance is. But this isn't just a microphone. Every time, every one of these visual icons is actually a complete preset where a, a live engineer, experienced engineer, has already set up the specific DSP capabilities specific for that channel. You know, when you think about it, the microphone that you're using for lead vocal and the microphone you're gonna stick in a kick drum, in the traditional mixing world, they have the exact same set of controls. And these are really two very different needs that you have for those different sources. So here, if I say, you know what, this microphone is actually a kick drum, I'm now going to get a completely different set of sound. It's going to understand on a vocal mic, I'm going to automatically roll off the low end, right? have my high pass filter, set the compression right, an EQ to a nice nominal spot, give you a little bit of reverb. You instantly at a great starting point instead of a bunch of knobs at 12 o'clock that just sound flat. If I hit call up the kick drum, hey, it's going to know automatically. Let's put a little gate. Let's have the, the you know, obviously you don't want to cut the low end and so on. But now what if you want to go further? I, of course, can set up multiple inputs and outputs. If I go and hit tweak, we've created this, this, this XY control panel way of editing such that you can, again, use terms you're familiar with, like you would talk to a sound engineer, like, for example, in the case of this kick drum, the tone may be a little hard to see on the screen, but in the center here it says neutral. If I'd like it a little brighter or darker, more body or a deeper sound, I simply move around here and I'd be in real time hearing this is actually controlling a whole bunch of parameters under the hood like a sound engineer would. But I can quickly do what I would do normally. I want to say, you know, I need a little brighter. And you'd hear it and you go, oh no, maybe a little more here. You get your sound where you want it, you're done. But if you say, wait a minute, you know, I want to, I want to actually, I want 3dB at 2.4K because I'm more of a sound engineer. No problem. You can go into an advanced mode. I can see it right here. and. Um, there's actually a spectrum analyzer underneath the EQ display. This mic isn't plugged into it, so you're not hearing, seeing me talk. But now I can move individual bands of EQ, or I can do them with the dials here as well, and so on. And you can see your whole channel strip. There's a high pass, a gate, sub boost, compressor, EQ, delay, limiter. There's tremendous amount of processing power under the hood here. But What's really the paradigm shift is this ability to say, you know, I just want to go tweak this kick drum. I can just go here, adjust how much punch or pump this is, so quickly get a sound. And then, of course, once I've filled the stage with all the various things I'm going to uh, have, let's throw a bass guitar in there and so on, I can save multiple setups and I can get a consistent sound every time I come to the, to the gig by just recalling the setup. If that wasn't enough, there's quick capture we call built in. There's enough memory in here where it can record all of the tracks, 20 seconds worth, in real time, all pre-processing. So your whole band can play through a chorus and you can instantly hear it back and now be tweaking your sound as you're hearing the playback, so while you're not playing. And if you want, you can even add a Wi-Fi stick right in this USB port and go out front of house with your iPad and take control of every parameter of the screen from your iPad. So you can actually go out, be hearing the playback of yourself, and, uh, and mix externally. Of course, you can do full-on recording. You don't even need a computer. It will hook up to a computer if you want to record that way. 
but you could record all these analog inputs directly to an SD card or directly to a USB external hard drive. You'd be able to record every gig you do right from the Stagescape. And lastly, it has L6 Link, which makes it perfect for interfacing with our stage source speakers. When you connect the L6 Link to speakers, it will automatically configure which speakers are your front of house. You put a speaker on its side, it automatically is a, knows it's a monitor. You can have up to four independent monitor mixes, and all of them are just connected together with single cables. So setup is extremely simple. It's the most flexible live sound system that exists. I've already talked too much and I'm just scratching the surface. You gotta go check it out. Go to the Sweetwater website, find out all kinds of detail about our new Stagescape. Thank you.